inside air unit is set to 86 degrees. And it's not heating. All right, so I took the temperature inside and you can see it was set for 86, but it was only showing that this unit was actually pointing out 71 degrees. Um, basically, it was ambient temperature from the inside. So, we gotta get this cover bo box off. There's two screws down at the bottom. That cover comes off pretty easy. And this is gonna be your charge port that's right here. I actually had unscrewed that the other day, so that's still loose. And I basically put together this recharge kit here. That's gonna be your R410A. And it's gonna come with a gauge, so you know exactly where to set it up at. And it's gonna come with the little adapter that's included. Um, set up some instructions so it's pretty easy to follow but basically if you look at this gauge green is going to show it's low blue is going to be full and obviously you don't want to get into a yellow or a red area and it has a nice little pressure button on it so you can fill that so the best way to do this is to make sure that you have all this hooked up ahead of time and this goes on Sure you put that port on pretty snug and then take the top of the bottle off and then you're gonna have basically the adapter and pressure gauge put that on always make sure you wear gloves when you're doing this okay so you see the gauge pretty good then you attach this Now you probably need a pair of pliers to make sure that you can give it the necessary crank that you need to make sure it engages. And you'll know when you're good when you have a little bit of pressure showing up on a gauge. So see how it's just barely in the green? So we'll just give it a couple. You want to hold this bottle up this upside down. Hold the bottle upside down. And you just want to keep giving it some pressure until the pressure builds up until you're in a blue zone. So you can tell this unit was definitely on the low side. And you want to keep adding it a couple bursts at a time until you get into a full zone. And we're almost there. And I like to aim for right in the middle. Hopefully we got enough pressure. A couple more presses and I think we'll be good. Okay, I think we're good. All right, that 
that's it. We can cap back on. to make it super tight but I like to make sure it's nice and locked. Put this cover back on. Let's go take a reading inside the house. All right, so had the unit running for a couple minutes. I have a set of 86, so it's put out about 88. So pretty close. You want it a little bit warmer. And a quick note: make sure that you have an AC mode when you are charging it. But other than that, uh, that's it. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Brian from Garage Mahal. All right, here is the recharge kit that I'm offering, and it's going to come with a canister of the R410A, enough to get you from the low side up to where it needs to be. It comes with the adapter to put on the DIY Mr. Cool lines, and it comes with a pressure gauge and a, and a charge hose, which is pretty cool. I like it because it's got that color-coded gauge, and if you have on AC mode when you're charging, you get into that blue area, that's all you need to do. And then you're back up and run it. Uh, however, if after charging, it seems like it's still not running up to par, you may have a pretty uh, significant leak and you definitely get a professional out there to take a look at it. But other than that, I did this on a couple different units and it was more than enough to get the unit up and running. And I haven't had any issues. So feel free to leave your comments as well as get in contact with me I'll leave my contact information in the comments below so I can uh, tell you how to get one of these these kits that I'm offering and, and you, you'll usually get in about a week so be patient but other than that uh, have a great day thanks